Here it go, it's time for the blue and the white Tigers and Lady Tigers of Nashville, Tennessee State University. We see you. What up, y'all? It's time for another 100 HBCUs in 100 Days, powered by the only mobile reader for the culture, the underrated report. Link in the bio. Today is all about Tennessee State University. Our goal is to feature every HBCU we can get our hands on. But if you want to see yours before we get to them other ones, Put it in the comments, then tell everybody you know to put it in the comments because the more votes your school has, the sooner we can get it up. Cool? Tennessee State University, the only state-funded HBCU in Tennessee, was founded in 1912 as the Tennessee Agriculture and Industrial State Normal School for Negroes. In 1941, the board was like, yo, you got to upgrade this school, and upgrade they did. Under the presidency of Walter S. Davis between 43 and 68, 70% of the school's facilities were built, and the establishment of a grad school and four other schools were all put in place. TSU has a deep, rich history in athletics, including swimming. And I know that's big because a lot of us don't really like getting out of that water. But they had the TSU Tiger Sharks, who in the 60-61 swimming season finished with a record of 6-1, and one, only losing to Indiana's Ball State University, which was one of only two white schools that was willing to compete against TSU. In 1968, the college officially changed its name to Tennessee State University. And in 79, the University of Tennessee in Nashville was merged into the school. Yo, at one point, TSU was the most integrated school in the U.S., but they were still being mistreated by the Tennessee state government. Shortly after midnight, February 21st, 1990. More than 500 student protesters led by SGA President Jeff Carr took over the admin building and chained up the doors like Joe Clark on Lean On Me. This siege got national coverage, lasted for 14 days, and the result, the state of Tennessee gave them a check for over $120 million. They got this money. To this day, it remains the only public university in Nashville, and their health sciences program is one of the largest in the state and in the country. Notable alumni, Oprah. Like, I don't have to tell anybody else, Oprah. Track and field legend, Miss Wilma Rudolph. And the producer of Drake's All Me and Beyonce's Partition, Key Wayne. Shout out to you, Tennessee State University Tigers. We see you and thank you so much for watching. Come on and get your free copy of the Underrated Report for more dope stories just like this. Tap the link in the bio, tap the picture, drop your email, and we'll get it to you as soon as we can. Thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget that black education is black excellence, and black excellence is black education. So let's keep it going. Who's next?